You are very beautiful. You make my tongue swell. I got. <laughs> Thank you. And I kiss you? Yeah, you can kiss me. Party time. Taskmaster Brew. Taskmaster Brew. <laughs> Make the best ventriloquist dummy. And be chatted up by it. A walk in the park for me, another day at work. <laughs> no seductive ventriloquist dummy wins. You have 30 minutes and your seat must last no longer than 30 seconds. Your time starts now. This is the famous saying, bottle of beer, which is the hardest thing for a ventriloquist dummy to, to say, apparently. Mm. Pop it, sexy. That's me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> can you just pop me down here? And can you take your jacket off? It's just... I mean, it's really just... It's just putting a hat on a baby, isn't it? It's not a hat either. <laughs> Put it down, Mark. Have fun with it. Hello. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's honestly like Blair Witch. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Oh, no. I feel like I'm on, like, an episode of Blue Peter. Fuck. I'm ready when you are. Um, Ian said, puppet sexy, that's me. I used to present on children's television with a puppet called Hacker the Dog. Oh! His name's Phil Fletcher. OK. And he's a professional puppet builder. Right. So we used to get drunk and make puppets together. OK, puppets... Sexy. Sexy. That's, that's me. me. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe was the only person to suss out the bottle of beer. beer yeah, thing. that's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, if you're a uh, puppet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, well, first up, a man who ultimately is here to prove himself and to proudly demonstrate his full range of skills, Joe Thomas. Hello. Hello. <laughs> do you like reading? <laughs> um, yeah, I do. Can I ask you a strange question? What? Can I ask you a strange question? Yeah, OK. I got... I got something stuck in my teeth. Have you got something stuck in your teeth? Let me, um... Let me just have a little look. I can't, um... Ah. What? Push a bit harder. Ah, that's all right. All right. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? <laughs> what? On that one. So, so, you've drawn your lover in. You've said you like reading. You've established common ground. Yeah. Uh, you've done the classic, get them to lean in so they can uh, look at your teeth. Look at their then, teeth. As far as yep. I can work out, at that point, you <laughs> stabbed your lover in the face. Yeah. And then, with a look of absolute confusion on your face, <laughs> you asked your now-dead lover <laughs> if that's what he wanted. <laughs> I thought, I mean, I just don't need an out, really. I, I, it's a, well, a I know short, what you're it, it, was, it was to ask him if that's what he wanted. If that's what he wanted. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Mm. The end. Yeah. You want to see another one? Yes, please. OK, we're going to see Asian Gibson attempt. Sorry, a Sean Gibson attempt. <laughs> a Sean Gibson attempt. Hello, beautiful lady. Hello? What is your name? Mm, Sean. Oh, I like you very much. Would you like some flowers? For me? Thank you. You are very beautiful. You make my tongue swell. I like got. Wow. Thank you. And I kiss you? Yeah, you can kiss me. Mr. 
Right, yeah. I can only apologise. No, I mean, don't need to apologise to me. I'm delighted to have my image used in such a way. <laughs> Where you lost me was, and I think I wrote it down here, you're very beautiful, you've made my tongue swell. <laughs> Does that not happen to you right now? No. Tongues can swell, but it's normally due to malnutrition or exposure to chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Ian Sterling. Jimmy, I can't believe you pinned in my caravan. Ian, I love you so much, I decided to paint it all. But why do you love me? I love your eyes and your mind and your general being. Oh, Jimmy, I, I don't know what to say. Say nothing. Just kiss me. OK. <laughs> I mean, the key word in this task is seductive, I think. He painted my caravan. I don't know why you were seduced that the man with the foot for the nose painted your caravan and that seduced you. That was sexy. He'd done a nice task. I said, why did you do the nice task? And he said, because I think you're a lovely I, guy. Well, maybe it's just me. When I get seduced, I want to either be killed or have my tongue explode. <laughs> Come on, you can't, you can't say that. Because, like, that, that is literally the one task that I was like... Hey, I've literally it was a great that... puppet, mate. But the task was for it to be seductive. And it was to build a vent puppet. None of those are vent puppets. Vent puppets are operated with an up and down pulley system. You said make a vent puppet. That is the first sentence. Make a vent puppet. Didn't make one. Didn't make one. No points. Vent puppet. <laughs> no points. No points. It's interesting, isn't it? I wasn't at all seduced by Ian's puppet, but now I have a full erection. <laughs> Who's next? Well, I've written a little joke into the next one. OK. What do you get if you cross a man from the chase with a man who operates dummies? Don't press it. <laughs> well, hello. Hello, handsome. And who might you be? I'm your biggest fan, Ham. Oh, good pun. How are your general knowledge? What's the capital of Burundi? Trick question. It used to be Bujumbura, but in 2018 it changed its name to Gitega. Oh, my God, you're amazing. Do you have any other claims to fame? Well, I helped bring down David Cameron and Ed Miliband, allegedly. <laughs> oh, my God, that was you, celebrity pig himself. You will absolutely do. <laughs> you won't need your trousers where we're going. <laughs> Right, I enjoyed your voice technique. Yep. Phone. I think it's a, it's a great ventriloquist puppet. It's a great ventriloquist. <laughs> great ventriloquist puppet. It's a great work. Mr. Puppetry Pedant over here is about to explode <laughs> with fury. So just say what you have to say. Well, he needs to be quiet. Well, it's not a puppet, it's not a puppet, is it? <laughs> it's not a puppet, it's not a puppet. <laughs> it's a bank with a speaker in its head. <laughs> Let's dig into the seduction of your puppet. He's a celebrity pig, and I'm a sucker for celebrity. It's simple. <laughs> What, that, what that's, a, that's, that's, that's OK, that's what allowed, is it? What a seductive notion. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see this? Eh? Yes, of course. Uh, a ventriloquist was the answer to the, to the joke. <laughs> so, <laughs> finally, we have Lou and her very unlittle six-foot-two, above-average height mannequin. Here we go. OK, here we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Great listener, and I play the guitar, but I wait to be asked. I love talking about my emotions. I give him foot massages and respecting women. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you like bananas? <laughs> <laughs> Wink to camera. Lou, <laughs> you know, what I wrote down, I want to ask you about straight away is <laughs> I play guitar, but I wait to be asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he respects women. He made that clear. Yeah. Seductive. He's got a lot of potassium. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that good? I think it's good for making babies. He get... Dick. And then, um, just eating a big old banana. <laughs> Yeah, very much so. <laughs> do you want to score them? I do, Greg. OK. Yeah. This will be fun. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. OK. I'm going to give Sean and her yoghurt-tongued sex puppet four points. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give Lou four points also. I find it quite seductive. OK, four to Lou, four to Sean. Yeah, I'm going to give Paul... Paul... Four points. Four points. <laughs> And I'll tell you why, is regardless of the history of puppetry... <laughs> we're, we're disregarding all of the history I, of puppetry. I consider something that looks vaguely human... Yes. ..that sexy little ham <laughs> chatting away, using the clever phone technique, to mm -hmm. be absolutely excellent. Clever phone technique. Now, one person, I'm going to give one point to. OK, we've got and One Jay. person, I'm going to give five points to. OK. The person I'm giving five points to, I thought the puppet was functional, I felt there was a real truth to the affection <laughs> between them, and I thought it was a very sweet and innocent thing to be turned on by. So, I am actually going to give Ian five points. <laughs> OK. Five points for Ian's brain. <laughs> and I'm only giving Joe one point because um, he murdered his partner. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!